gas and air was doing nothing. Like, I do understand how the air I'm taking here will be affecting the waist that is breaking. I tried to do hypnobirthing, mind reading, mind, you know how, when even when she was putting her hand in the cervix, I'll be like, you know how they say, let your baby go. I would say, let the finger come in. That's, I was doing things that, trying to do that positive mind, um, or nothing was working in that contraction. That's it, push baby out, push baby out, out of you, out of you, out of you. Good, and again, last one, last one, push baby out. Beautiful, have a rest, have a rest, have a rest. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I said I just enter booth, uh, but he's going to pay for parking. And guys, I, I tried it in the toilet at the airport and see. He's coming now. Yeah, he's not looking. I'm just going to give information and I'll be giving information. I don't think there's going to be a scan today. Yeah. It's one hour. Thank God, nothing was slow like normal NHS. Hello there. So today is my scan. It's the first scan ever. Pictures from the scan. This one shows the baby's legs and her So today is 29th August, which is my 20th appointment, 20th week appointment. So Lazi is here, she'll be coming in soon. And yeah. And then she said for the iron, I should be taking iron with orange juice. I just think it's just more interesting not to know yet. She gets it, I'm with my mom, she just wishes she knew. So I'm just looking for names and stuff. I'm 24 weeks on the dots. <laughs> yeah, and I'm heading out for my glucose slash diabetes blood tests. So It's like I actually teared up because we pushed them. Hello, so today is the 2nd of January 2024. Happy New Year. I made a video on my last the appointment before this one, which was the last time I saw the doctor. They gave me my birth chart and all that, but for some reason I deleted it. I forgot to remake it. Anyway, today's my last midwife appointment. I'm due in 10 days. That's my expected you know delivery date. I'm really hoping the baby comes before then. Oh, you got something very normally up there. Mm -mm. Just uh, poke into your ribs yeah, up there. Yeah. 45 minutes later and I'm done with my appointment. My urine is fine, clear. Blood pressure, 102 to 60 something. Usually my blood pressure is low. So now that it's supposed to be rising, it's just becoming normal. So that was perfect. And yeah, so this is a private appeal to this baby to please come out before. Not even on or before <laughs> my due date. Before my due date, please. Come out before your due date, eh? I want it to come like 8. 8 is 8, 9. Even 10 is not even bad. Yeah, because we'd have to book an induction if it doesn't come by 12th and we even tried to check the date. There was nothing, everything was fully booked for like induction or whatever. I've seen the doctor, they tell me 20 seconds, he's waiting 20 seconds. So yeah, baby, are you listening? Come before the 10th of January 2024. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, come. 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 Oh, Thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my delivery. As you can see, I can't even do this thing in peace. We have to do it with the celebrant. If this is something you think you would enjoy, which I think you would, sit back, relax, and let's have a good time watching this video. My name is Stephanie, guys, and you're welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform. Let's just talk delivery. So baby's EDD was 12th of January 2024. And um, I was on the 9th, I think in the evening. I actually went to cut my hair that day. I even did some shopping for the house. You know, in my mind, like we're just... In my mind, we're just going to like be leaving and then one day contractions will come. 
So I call them when they, they check baby, they said baby was fine, but for the fact that I'm saying movements are not much, the lady just started dropping steel beds, steel beds up and down the whole place. Like it was just annoying. I was like, please, I can't even sit down here and just start my journey today. Like my mind is never ready. Today I am 39 weeks and four days. Um, so that's three days to go, but guys, I've, I've not felt any strong contractions or anything. So it's looking like baby might be delayed. I really want the baby to come eight, nine, ten. Today is eight, nine. So tomorrow is another day, Sha. Anywho, I just felt the baby wasn't moving as much as it was moving the past few days today. So I called my midwife and then obviously I was supposed to come to triage. So I'm at a triage place now. Um, this is checking my temperature. This is checking the baby's heartbeat. Sorry, this is checking my own heartbeat. I've checked my temperature. And then I'm supposed to be looking at this. And then if this, I think it's this one, either this or this. The purple one. If it's on screen, I'm supposed to press something. Yeah, I'm supposed to press this for the ladies to come back in the nurse. Yes, I'm sure they said it's going to take like one hour. I'm really hoping it takes 10 minutes to one hour. So I'm really hoping in 20 minutes it will turn. I'll feel baby movements here yeah, and then press it and it will turn green. So I went home, my bags already packed, then came back to the hospital and then I spoke to the doctor who, you know, they showed me, they gave me this leaflet about induction, inducing. Man, I didn't even know anything about inducing would be <laughs> around me in my mind. I was going to carry contractions and go and stuff. So they gave me leaflets. I literally just said the different um, types. So meanwhile, during my pregnancy journey, I was on this app called Peanuts. Peanuts is an app where like fellow ladies who are trying to you know about to give birth you know join so i was in first time mom's group and i was also in january 2024 group babies group so on the on the app i'd see one girl say the balloon type of induction did not work it was just a waste of time so as i just looked at this one i saw balloon i just can't sleep in my mind then there was another one called propels gel a prostaglandin propesha pressary something they'll put it in the vagina the propels and then when the cervix is sufficiently soft or like ripened, the water surrounding the baby will now be broken and then a drip containing oxytocin, which is what normally um, comes out throughout labor, will now be given to you, you know. So, yeah, so they gave me this purpose. Now, guys, when they are giving you this thing, like it's the most uncomfortable thing ever because they literally go in with fingers, like maybe two fingers. So, you know, check your cervix, see if the baby's head is close to the cervix, check, 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 and then now tell you how that they said you. So, after my first one, after she checked it the first time, she like, ah, your cervix is for forward, is in front, you know, so let's put the gel. So she put the gel on nothing. I just felt little contraction. Remember, I was really hoping contraction woke up, nothing. So the next day she came to check again and then she was like, mm, that okay, her hand could not enter one part now, now we could enter. So she just approximated to one centimeter. Please come out. Today, tomorrow is my due date, by the way. So today's 11th, 1 1 1 2024. Sorry. After I was here for hours, they now came to check again. And then when she checked again, she was like, okay, her hand can now enter another one centimeter. I'm like, Jesus. She now shall put the gel again in like two hours. I think I was on call with Amaka, so. My friend Amaka, she kept calling me, you know, throughout the process, literally like really checking up, properly texting. So she was well on the phone when they now said, when the contraction started, so I want to take a walk on the corridors because it's winter, so you can't really go outside the building and then you're actually a patient there, so you can't really be jumping out. So I was just taking walks on the corridors and then after five minutes, I was literally looking at the time we we're talking, five minutes like contraction, I will now stand do uh, uh, uh. Be it. So we did it for like 20 minutes and what we're doing, Hobby came in because he had gone to get something. Hobby came in and then two midwives came out like, Adi, you're, you're, you're ready for labor. So you can go to the labor, we're ready for labor ward. So we're ready and I saw my bed. The bed was the most uncomfortable thing in that hospital because the antenatal beds were so comfortable. Each room was actually bigger than a single room in the UK, normal single room. And then everybody had like different things. There was a girl there. Her water had broken at 35 weeks. There was another one. Her baby was supposed to come in Christmas. This was 9th of January. Baby hadn't come. So another one. I don't know what her situation was, but I know she was already taking gas and air when I came. And she was just screaming, epidural, epidural, please. I'm not even interested in anything. So there were three when I came, to be honest. Then I think two people shot interchange and everything. Anyway, the whole thing about that internet was that you shall hear different other people's you know situations and stuff. So it was kind of cool to. Yeah, so at, at the labor ward, yeah, I took a shower. They just quickly 
take a shower if you want to because you have to put you know that thing that you need to connect the drip into your vein on this hand so i can you take a shower hope you went to get okay because we bought powdered milk but they wanted the liquid one ready to go which was what in my mind i thought i should get my friend told me there was no need that it was powder 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 so that was what i now carry so they're like no they need the milk one. so the liquid also got that anywho we got into the matter contraction obviously was still and that contraction like Gas and air does not do anything. I, I don't understand you guys that take gas and air. You did not do nothing to me. You guys, my delivery, my birth, my pregnancy was smooth. I didn't vomit. I didn't, you know, it was smooth, I would say. Just tiredness, regular obviously pregnancy now. The only thing I was helping with contractions, I was just telling hobby to press the middle, like the back of my waist, the back of it. If you can get like a belt that can just be tugging there and massaging, like your waist slash that middle, press it. That was what was like soothing me. Gas and air was doing nothing. Like I do understand how the air I'm taking here will be affecting the waist that is breaking. It, it was not. Maybe my brain was not. I tried to do hypnobirthing, mind reading, mind. You know how when even when she was putting her hand in the cervix, I'll be like, you know how they say, let your baby go. I would say, let the finger come in. That's, I was doing things that trying to do that positive mind or more. Nothing was working in that contraction. So what did I just say, guys? I think I'm going to opt for epidural because I can't shout. And everything like, okay, that's called the esthetician. And then the person that gives admits it. She was at the theater. Her and then there were two guys. I think one was the teacher, one was the giver. They were at the theater, maybe doing someone that was doing. I don't even know. Anywho, we had to wait. So we waited for that one. So the shark came. Obviously, they give you another leaflet. The first one was induction of labor. That's one that is plenty. So Epidoria will just tell you like the chances and like one in every extremely rare for paralysis. The shark tell you everything. Shark read, read, read. The shark knows read, but we read. Read everything I shall did. I know they said don't move. You, you can hear back. I shall read everything that was important. I read everything to be honest, and gave her a bit to read as well. So why I just told them I just said please do these contractions. I cannot not move. So let's wait for a contraction. So wait for it. once the contraction came. They came spread. They just spray something on your back. Then they say hold still. You feel a tight tingling sensation. So they shall inject. I knew I shook a bit. My midwife said no, don't move, don't move. I shall shall hold it, hobby, and then they put it, put it, put it. After I put it, I still waited 13 minutes. So I had like this six contractions waiting for a period to kick in. Finally, she kicked in, and then we shall chat. So the mirror was nice. We're talking all through the night, and then every like 30 minutes in the night, she would wake me, tell me to turn. I go to my side, I go to my middle, the throne position. I shall shall waking me, flipping me, flipping me. Morning came with one guy. Slim guy like this came, let me check your cervix, came again with his finger, but then epidural was there, so all that chicken chicken. I said, go in, go check, 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 you know, check, ah, you say, nine centimeters, ah, I was like, are you serious? Nine centimeters, from one to nine, and I text my mom, see, nine centimeters, she's like, hallelujah, we are coming, it's coming today, text my sister-in-law, you know, nine centimeters. Now, but at night, at some point, I think it was really hot, and she now said she was going to open the window. So she window and I was feeling cold. So I, I don't know whether it's that cold. I don't even know what that God gave me a fever. That's how they say you have fever. Uh, let's pause. Something like that, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I say beach fever. So my midwife was shadowing. So the midwife, they changed um, hands. So another midwife came. So the first midwife was one Iranian babe. We're just in Sha. Really cool girl. She said she likes to know her patients. We were talking about every single thing until I stepped off. So the next one came was an older lady and her partner. Um, Richard, one guy, <laughs> young guy, maybe in his thirties or something. Anywho, she, she, she get to, I think she was new there because she didn't know where they came. She was like, where did they keep this thing? Where they, she was just going to hope this man knows what she's doing. Well, um, she knew what she was doing. So I shot told her that, ah, now me, I'm ready to um, push. She's like, are you ready? I said, yes. So there's this doctor, because obviously the doctors have to give, you know, go ahead for pushing. So the doctor came, he had seen me the day before looking for cold water, really cold water. So like, you're the one I saw yesterday, water, blah, blah, blah. I said, yes, yes, yes. Now I said, are you ready to, you want to do it? I said, yes, I think I want to. And I said, okay, good. Meanwhile, two other doctors, two ladies, they will call me, they will read, they were reading something, CDT, CTD 150, CTG. Her CTG is 150, what? They will not say something, they will go out. And that set of ladies will call me. My midwife was just sitting, getting ready, getting ready. So they were like, I should give two hours. So I guess between that two hours, maybe I became 10 centimeters, I don't know. But I think nine was even fine by them because nobody went in to check anything again. So at some point the doctor now came and said um, she wants to push and da 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 da. We started. Are we in the right track? Yeah. And hold the chin, chin on your chest. So she said my midwife. So my midwife now came and said okay. I now told her come. I now googled how to push during labor. 
they said something they know how you google something another person ask a question how do you push i now click that how do you push what they said was exactly what she told me so i just thought okay so just tell me because during my baby shower i can't even remember who it was ah, that said they just told the midwife that the midwife should tell them what to do if it's a small big one small one so that their tears so i just remember that and i told her please tell me what to do at any point i will just do it you know however you should said okay cool this is how to do the contraction. i told me exactly what i read in google that you know you're taking a deep breath once a contraction is felt i will tell them i can feel it then i'll take a deep breath hold it pull my chest down to here and then hold my legs that one i remember oh, yeah. <laughs> my friend telling me hold your legs i can't even woman <laughs> So I hold my two legs. She said, "You just hold your two legs and then push, and then you okay." So you hold the breath. I use the breath push like maybe three times. It will not the amount of you know pushing so the breath to do. So you do. You get so you use that breath to push the three, and then you do like this. Then obviously your legs is in the throne position or whatever. So I shall did. She now said, "Okay, let's do practice." So and I did the first practice. It was not when I finished. I hope you are now saying that practice was actually your first one. I was like, true, to be honest, that practice was actually my first one. So my contractions were like four, aside the practice, were four like pushes. So, sorry, four contractions. So within those four contractions, the first one I did three. I remember the second one I did four because she was a, a motivating me. Hand the Richard guy, they were like, you're doing it, you're doing it. Oh dear. You're doing it, you're doing it, you know. So they were motivating me to do it. One second, let me just get to do. Sorry, it was delivery. So yeah, um, yeah, so four contractions and then in, in, in between them I did three, four, four. Three, three, four, four. No, three. Did practice three, then three, then four, four. Yeah, sharp push. Finally, baby came. Like when before the baby came, I think the they pushed before the last one. I felt the head. I had to hobby. I, I want you go and look because I already told you to be filming. I want you go and look. He was like, look at what you know. He was even shocking. I saw he was even holding me at some point, but I didn't remember. Was he told me? And I remember that yeah, he was actually holding me like when I was doing that. You know. Push that feeling out of you. Gold, amazing girl, well done. <laughs> and again, and again, get that baby head stretch the perineum. Beautiful. Ah, guys, when I feel the head tears, as in, I don't know if I just remember. <laughs> My year, 2023, it was so rubbish in the beginning. Like, ah. I just had tears in my eyes. So, well done. And again, and again. Last one and hold it. One thing at the south when you hold. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. That's it. <laughs> and then I did the fourth contraction and then, you know, pushed up. And then I did the fourth contraction and then pushed. And then I held the baby, I just said thank you. Daddy, bring your camera. A few moments later. Do you have a hat for baby? I didn't know what I was thank you for finishing my labor. Or oh, just thank you for all the blessings. She brought my last year. Like so many things. I just said thank you, thank you. And then she was doing her fingers, like, you know, she was doing her fingers, and I just looked at her and we we're just laughing. Because she was really dark. So I was like, I thank God, she even looks like you. Because I don't even want any fair yellow baby. I don't want yellow purple baby. I don't want caramel, it's fine. Do you guess? So yeah. So I held her, obviously, they want the baby to contact with your skin and everything. So I held, I held the baby for a long time, you know. So yeah, they now took the baby for me. I was just looking at her. Because I was just like perplexed, like I'm not in bother. So she came when I wanted, when we wanted her. Well, when I wanted her, because he always wanted the baby scenes. But when I wanted her, she came. And she removed my hair. You did this month. The next month she came. She gets. But she came, and then things were just weird. Meanwhile, it was just as if she came and. You know, she just didn't want me to be in the rubbish position I was before. So it was just like, thank you. I'll just say thank you. Thank you to the baby. Yeah. 
so we had it so that was it really and okay so all these days and nights and everything like as i told you i came nights and everything baby came on her expected delivery so such an obedience baby i asked god for her obviously when i went to um, rome in january for hobby's birthday went to see the pope that was my main intention i wanted a baby though i was still having iud but obviously i wanted a healthy baby and i'm praying for a baby when i took iud off baby came you know, I got pregnant, but I didn't even feel worthy to be a mom. Like, I, did, I didn't tell anybody. My mom still knew about my pregnancy at 20 weeks scan. After 20 weeks scan, I was like, ah, let me go and tell mom. See, yeah, I felt unworthy. She's so crazy. She just told me that come, God was actually keeping you away from doing all those other things you were doing. So you have, because you had a better project to take care of. As I said, my pregnancy was seamless. If I was still working and jumping up and down, who knows what would have happened. Ah, <sighs> you get such a blessing baby it's such a blessing to me and other people yeah so we went to postnatal postnatal was so nice the room was really big obviously their meals were okay and stuff oh yeah my friend came she brought pepper soup and then okay yep yeah, went to postnatal to now figure out name i already had name for boy and girl you know i had because i was supposed to do the english name hobby was supposed to do the Igbo name so i had a name that could if he was a boy it would be this if he was a girl it would be this and then him in our came so he's had his name for her is actually my nickname the anaba version so he called me Ihe, which is light light in emo he's emo i'm anamba so he gave her ife 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 na so father's light you get so her name is ife na so it's baby came on 10 7 a.m. weighing 3.48 listening to as I was playing when baby came and all so yeah we decided a name so my dad and then he made I don't know I'm going to put the audio of the thing he did my dad is dramatic like me kind of so like God shots and then breaking of cola notes hey, boy, no catch, hey, boy. my sister-in-law and my junior brother gave birth Three weeks before but he wanted the two children to be his star sign and thankfully they they are for him i think it's capricorn yeah so 21st he's 24th then this is 12th and oh so that's my delivery story and i'm loving it i've sent the picture to my office baby is so cheeky like, thank you so much for watching guys i think this video is long enough don't forget to subscribe share this video with your friends your family your enemies and then let's just use this opportunity to pray for anyone who is seeking for the fruit of the womb it will come for you just relax do everything you have to do like if there's something in your body that you need to take care of take care of it and just keep praying i know it's really tough especially when you're even i remember when i told my friend i was going to take off my id she was like it might take time so she's just trying to you know let me know that when you wear iud sometimes it takes time so that could be it something as well 30 seconds silence for anyone who you know is praying to god for a child or anything related to childbirth I'm just, you know, using this as a touching point to anybody really who's like in the dark. Obviously, you're looking for something that you really want, especially like child and everything. It's like darkness, you know. I pray, you know, that you're going to receive light and you're going to receive your blessing. You're going to receive your blessing in tenfold, even in more ways. Like, seriously, if I could even find a name that could say more than I ask God for, is what I will. Yeah, my, name, my parents also named um, baby Kamsi Yochuku, which is what I asked God for, which is fine. I love the name. So that's, uh, you know, that's their name. If you're now Kamsi Yochuku, then the name I gave baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think this, this is okay. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Metro Gypsy. I'll see you on the next episode while we wait for. Grandmother, yeah, like my mom is actually on her way now, so waiting for her. And then she, baby's wearing a jumper. I love my grandma. <laughs> Let me show you. Okay, I took pictures. I'm just a picture here. Mm -hmm.